It's getting a little weathered and worn, but as far as I'm concerned, this is a magic trackpad. Welcome, friends and family. Let's get back into the swing of things again, huh? Been a little bit off here recently, but I feel confident I'm going to get back to videos the way you guys like them. So, here's the state of the cat room. It, um, you know, it doesn't have too much in here. I intend to take all the stuff that is in here out and down into the basement. Then I will get this room completely cleaned up. While I'm doing that, I'm going to get a bit of this laundry done so that I can eventually start cleaning up this room. Well, I was taking some of the cat stuff downstairs and I dropped a bit of food. So, now I get to clean that up so that I don't just track that everywhere. There we go. Check this out. Doesn't this thing look a lot better? Freshly vacuumed. I've got this room all cleared out, swept up, and mopped. The floor is now drying. And uh, it's lunchtime. So, I'm actually going to have myself one of those bacon and fried egg sandwiches with cheese this time, because I've got, well it's not even cheese, it's like soy imitation cheese. It was really cheap and, you know, there wasn't really anything in it that I object to eating, so. <laughs> it, it tastes like cheese. <laughs> um, yep, breakfast for lunch. Hey, I'm kind of proud of myself. I didn't stuff my face completely full of food for a meal here. That way, you know, I won't actually end up practically feeling sick now that it's after lunch. I did remember to do the dishes after I got done eating, but the thing is I forgot to take out the trash this morning. I had quite a few trash bags to take out, so I'm going to have to find a place for those that's kind of hidden away. But right now I'm going to close this window. Okay, that was tougher than it should have been. But um, I'm going to close that window so that I can spray this air freshener stuff all around and hopefully make this room, you know, smell nice. I wonder if you're like, I'm spraying it up in the air, I wonder if you're like actually supposed to spray it on stuff. Ah oh, crap, it's like in my eye. I forgot to take this stuff out of the closet. Alright, hopefully I don't get uh, injured showing you this, but we've got another wasp nest to deal with. It's in there, underneath the thing. <laughs> all right. Well, now they're all flying around. Well, darn it. That was kind of a silly idea. I was going to put all these trash bags out, like in those trash cans that I have on the back porch there, and then around next to them because there's too many of them to fit all in the trash cans. But now there's a bunch of angry wasps flying around. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm a smart one. All right, room number two down today. It's the kitchen. It's looking good, I think, but um, you know, there's still a few more things I need to do in there. That'll be a later project, I suppose. All right, so we got about 15 minutes of mowing done there. It's about Halfway done, I'd say. Juvie! Oh, so yeah. I, uh, I just cut myself open on that can of, uh, of pear halves. <laughs> okay, well that's uh, three days in a row now that I don't have jury duty to go to. Because I just called the number and 
they don't need me for Wednesday, you know, tomorrow, either. I'm gonna mow the lawn some more. <laughs> I don't know if I showed it or not, but there is a wasp's nest in Drooby's old uh, grill out here. It's a propane grill, and as you might have guessed from the location, probably, I don't know if it's the easiest way to deal with it, but the most interesting way to deal with it would be just get the grill going and uh, let it solve itself there. And it's going to be a little challenging because Sorry, I just moved the that saw that was inside of it, and now there's wasps flying around. Um, anyway, it's going to be a little bit challenging because the little ignition switch doesn't actually work on his his uh, his range here. So I'm going to light this long piece of paper on fire and stick it in there just so to let it light the burners underneath when these guys calm down a little bit. Hopefully there's propane in the tank. Well, now we've got one wasp inside here. I was kind of amazed at how far away these guys flew once it, it got going. Um, right now I have the... I have the grill closed. As you can see there, with the burners going. So... Oh, he's flying around again. So that nest should be no more relatively soon. And now I just have this, this wasp inside to deal with. The wasps keep coming back periodically and uh, since the heat or the smoke coming out of there, I don't think you can see the smoke all that well. But then, you know, they get they get close and then they fly way up in the air and go away. <laughs> that dial is now medium high. Let's have a look inside of it. Well, I moved it and now you can see little wasp larvae down there getting cooked. Hey, enough with that, I'm gonna take a walk off over to this deals and get something to eat dinner. You know, surely someone else out there has done this too, but you go and you take a shower and you get done with your shower and you reach for your bath towel and it's not there. <laughs> yeah, I had to uh I had to scuttle my way around the house, sopping wet and naked, and find myself a, a towel to dry off with. Kim, I love you. Everyone else, thanks for watching.